Hey guys! So, it is October. I've had this um, package for, I want to say, a couple weeks now. I just haven't had the motivation to do this video. And then today I got all the motivation. I'm trying to do a skull look. And I figured while I'm all kind of glamoured up, my hair's flying in my face. Maybe I should just turn this on. Hold on. It's not that hot in here. And you probably can hear me better. But anyways, this came in the mail. And I thought, why not just do it? You know, I had motivation today. Let's just get it done. Because it's almost the end of the month. And I just, you know, last month I was exhausted. We were sick so many times because my kid's going off to school. So she came home sick a few times getting all of us sick and last month I know it showed up late last month but this month it was just like I was just exhausted and I didn't want to do it so I had motivation like I said I'm here let's get on and dun, dun, dun. it is it's the Halloween one um I think it's t vampire teeth and they have like a hint of that green in their mouth, if you can see that. So let's look into this more. Let's see what items we get. Okay, here's the paper. The paper's coming out first. It's called Pretty Wicked. That is a theme. It's Pretty Wicked. I mean, if I knew the color theme or whatever, I probably could have just done this in green, you know? So like the purplish, I'm done. Okay, it does have the items in there. I'm not looking at that until the end. I don't understand. Ugh, my hair keeps getting caught on my fake eyelashes. I did fake eyelashes for the first time. Now you can see like all the gunk. It actually looks better from afar. <laughs> but um, I did false eyelashes for the first time ever. And I actually, I love them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first item out of the bag is got a pop of color there Oop, did I have it upside down okay, I'm gonna take off my hair tie it is Lovecraft Beauty I think I have a few things from them before I'm just gonna go like that um but it is a gel eyeline pencil and it is in the color flash and it's that blue now if any of you have watched all um, my influencer influencer um videos um i did get a blue eyeliner and i loved it my kid decided to take it and drew all over my bathroom counter with it kind of mad about that but i this is my replacement and i love it and this time i'm gonna put it up higher so she can't get it but i actually like this um let's try Ooh, it goes on really smooth and it is also a bright blue, super bright blue. That's really pretty. So yeah, um, I think I've had this brand before. I think I said that. I do love it. But let's keep going. Um, oh, ratings. Ratings, I got to keep up with that. My mind's like all over the place. Um, the rating for this, I would give a four. But um, it didn't say anything about... You can go to their website, lovecraftbeauty.com. Those are my dogs. Um, their gel line eye pencil. It doesn't say anything whether it's like uh, waterproof or anything like that. So let's just let it dry for a little bit and then we can test it in a second. Um, okay, so the next item is... Okay, it says Cella and... Vella Beauty. Hello, beautiful. Okay. And it comes with four different colors. There's Glisten, Spirited, Glisten, Spirited, Presence and Vibration, I think is how it goes. I hate it when you have like an itch on your face and you have all your face. <gasps> did I, did I do it? No, I didn't. I didn't put a nail in the makeup. It was just hard to... 
but I hate when you have like your face done and you get that one little tiny itch like by your nose or right here or something and you're just like I want to itch it but you can't because then it will just mess up everything okay so oh I did good nail in it oh well let's go through these okay so this one I think is called presents maybe these are backwards this would it would make sense if these ones were like glisten and spirited because they're sparkly and then oh I think that's how it goes because if you're looking at the back it like it won't there see how it goes here but that's the side these are on so I think if you look at it from here let's just go through them I'm gonna just call these ones the glisten and the glisten and spirited so here's glisten it's a little orangey. Um, doesn't show up so much. Look, it goes on like a highlighter almost. Like it has that little presence. Let's see. This one has a little bit more presence to it. I'll put it right next to it. So you can barely see the orange, but then that bronze. So Glisten was the first one, then Spirited was the second one. Um... Those one, the spirited goes on better. Uh, let's see here. This one is going to be presents. Like your present. Presents. Is that brown? And then we have this brown. This dark brown. Okay. That's vibration. So everything goes on pretty nice except for that orange. Let me see if I can just pack that on. Use a different finger. Does that show up better a little bit it's more like a highlighter see I want to say that they're bad for hues and stuff like that but the one time that um I want to say it was um I think it was like it was like some punk LA punk something like that and I said like they don't really show up all that kind of stuff. I actually use that a lot because it does like when I put it on my eyes, if I have a primer on it, it shows up like crazy and then you can like build it and like blend it really well. And I use it all the time. Like I make my eyes look like sunsets cause it's like that orangey, orangey pink colors. So I do that all the time now. Um, especially I have a Led Zeppelin shirt and the picture is like this guy going like this kind of thing. And then it's like, has the sunset colors to it, which match this palette. So I use that palette with that shirt all the time whenever I wear them. I mean, it's coming, it's not summer anymore, so I don't really wear that shirt. But when I did wear that shirt, I should say. Okay, so that one, I'm going to give it a three right now. Um, I'm not going to rate it two though, because I'm just going to wait and see how it actually like builds and works, you know, that kind of thing. Next item. Garbage, garbage. Okay. The plastic is not my friend. Okay. So this next item is this. It's called Lottie. You can barely see it because it's like really, um, you hear my kid. She's downstairs with the dog, so you might hear her. Um, it's Lottie from Lon Lottie London, and it's called Slay All Day. And it's like, um, I'm trying to think if I want to put it on my arm. Is it like a gloss? No, it's not a gloss. It's like a really pretty pinkish. It's almost, it looks orangish, but it's not. It's like a pinkish red. Oh, don't dip it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> um, okay. Why won't the lid go back on? There we go. Okay, so it is. It's like a red, a reddish with a little bit of orange. Um, it looks more pinky in the thing, but then again, they do it like a glossy. Um, but yeah, that's the color. Uh, that's not normally my color. That's not usually what I pick out. Speaking of, I'm not, I don't remember what I picked out. I might've picked out the blue because I do like blue. So if I had seen that, I would've picked that out. I don't remember, but yeah, that, um, 
I'm gonna give it a two right now. I mean, not a, nothing against the product itself because it goes on really well, um, but it's more of like Ipsy did not get the color right. Usually they're good with me doing um, like the natural colors and the pinks. And I did say, I did say that I wanted to go uh, like away from um, the normal colors that I usually do. Like I want to step out there, but I don't know if red, like super bright red is like my color. Um, like I want to try like purples and blues and like all those kind of colors. That might be my husband coming home, but oh well. Um, okay, so next item is called Dr. Scrub Solution. Um, it's a ruby crystal microderm exfoliator. Uh, da, 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 da. The facial exfoliator. I'm just going to smell it. smells really weird. It smells like a cleaner. Ooh, it does have stuff in it. And it scrubs. Ooh, it smells better out. It almost has like a citrus smell to it. Um, but it smells more like a plastic. Like a plastic grapefruit. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, okay. So yeah, you just massage it and it exfoliates your skin like any other exfoliant. Um, that smells just weird. It might be an herb with the um, grapefruit that might be giving it that like plastic smell, but I, I can't really tell right now. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I would rate that. Like, I'm going to give it a three right now because I haven't used it yet giving it a benefit of a doubt um we can try it later i don't want to rub my nose off my nose hits speckles <laughs> sorry okay so last item is in this cute little pink bubble wrap i actually can open it It's called Hip Dot. And it's in Light Beam. So I'm guessing this is a highlighter. I'm just going to go out on a... It doesn't say what it is. It's a highlighter. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. Let's do a little swirl. Bam. It's got that. Let's put it on next to the red. Ooh kind of like a light peachy when I put it on there. I don't know if it's picking up like the red next to it, but it's got that, it's got like a little peachiness to it. Kind of cool. I like it. It does have enough shine that it's like kind of out there, but it's also like you can wear it naturally too. And I've never heard of this brand Hip Dot, so it's going to be interesting to try. So yeah. That was the bag. Now let's get into this part. Um, like I said, pretty wicked. Okay, so Cella Blushing Rose Eyeshadow. This is the travel size and it is um, $20. So I guess they do a travel size and then they would do a regular size, but the travel size is $20. There's your bag right there. Okay, the next item is the Gold Fadden. Gold Fadden MD Dr. Scrub Ruby Crystal Microdome Exfoliant. Does it tell me? It says ruby crystals are in it. I don't see anything on my skin, so I'm not really sure. I would think ruby crystals to be red. Um, but it helps polish away dead skin cells to help create a brighter, tighter complexion. Um, it has moisturizing jo I'm gonna say this jojoba, jojoba oil. 
and then it has firming seaweed extract and plumping hyaluronic acid work together to keep the skin brilliant does not say anything about the smells um it says if you have sensitive skin use this two to three times a week to keep your skin happy i don't know if you just don't use it daily or if it's because like it's sensitive and it would affect your skin if you use it daily. I don't know. Okay. So anyways, the MSRP of the full size version of this product, which is normally 50 milliliters, milliliters, this is 15 milliliters compared to the 50. So this is almost what? Three of these, a little bit more than three of these together is the full size. Um, that is $38. Uh, that's not too bad if it actually works. A little on the pricey side but it's okay um okay so the hip dot single highlighter in light beam is okay so this is the big one is 21 grams um this one is only 1.8 grams so it's pretty big. I mean, if this is only 1.8, it's about 10 times the size of this. It's just a little over that, um, which is normally $24. Now, if you don't use highlighter, I don't use highlighter that much. I mean, I do every once in a while, but like if I'm going out, I do, but not mostly. Um, but $24 for that big of a thing is, I mean, a little goes a long way. That would, that's a good price right there. Okay. Let's see, Lottie London Slay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Low Key. It's low key. Okay. Did I say that? I don't remember if I told you guys the color. It's low key. Um, I thought the brand was, I thought the color was Slay All Day. But I guess that's the, um, the type of lipstick. Okay, so the MSRP of the full size version of this product is only $6, guys. This is six. Okay, so the normal size is six milliliters. This is. Do, do, do. It's not telling me. Okay, so this is 1.8 milliliters. So it's about three times the size, which is like the normal size of lipstick. For $6, that's pretty good. I would buy that if it, I like the color. I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to look into that, see if they have different colors. I'm betting they do, but I'm going to see if they have any of the colors that I actually like. Um, okay. And then we come to the bath, the last one, the one that I was really excited about the blue pencil. It's love plus craft plus beauty gel line full or gel line, eye pencil and flash the full size. This is full size 13 bucks. Now see, um, that's, a good price for me if it stays oh that's what i was gonna check it stayed this whole time it stayed since i put it on if i rub it <gasps> guys it is rub proof it doesn't say anything about it on the product but it is like i'm just sitting here it's not even smudging it's staying in line that is amazing i would definitely buy this i would definitely recommend that so yes Thank you guys for watching. If you've gotten this far, um, I hope you have a good Halloween. I know I am. And, um, I'll see you next time. Bye.